The negotiability of a car, as my friends Ray and Zach like to say, is largely going to depend on a few different factors that I want you to know about before you go into a dealership to discuss the price of a car. Ray and Zach, how you doing? Zach reached out to me a few months ago. We've been connecting. Comment in the description below whether or not you think me and your auto advocate should do a live stream together, a video of some sort. Let us know in the comment section below. What I want to talk about in this video is some things that you should know when you're negotiating a car. And a lot of it has to do with what Ray and Zach have put together called the Market Price Report over at YourAutoAdvocate.com. I want you to use this tool as well as some of the tools that I have in the description below to be able to get the best price on a car. And in this video today, I wanna to break down for you exactly how you should go about doing it. What is happening guys? Ari here from Boston Automotive Consulting and in the description below, you're gonna find resources such as your Auto Advocate Market Price Report Tool as well as Link so that you can shop around for not only the best new car deal, but check out vehicle specific incentives as well as estimate lease and finance payments. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing because this whole channel is going to teach you everything you're going to need to know so that you can negotiate your best possible deal. Now, after using the market price report tool on your auto, your auto advocates website, I noticed that the negotiability of certain vehicles was a lot lower on some and a lot higher on others, Ray puts a little bit of a recommendation on each and every vehicle's VIN number that I used, I plugged in so that I could see exactly how negotiable, what's the negotiability score on this vehicle. What I did was a little bit of an experimentation that I want you to sort of wrap your head around a little bit what I was focusing in on. I had a client reach out to me, ask me, Ari, what's better, should I get a Toyota CRV? A Toyota CRV, a Honda CRV, or should I get a Toyota RAV4? And I said, okay, let me get very, very specific as to what's happening right now. If you were to just conduct a quick search just to see what's out there at, say, maybe your local dealership, you pick that CRV and you said, let me run it through Ray and Zach's market price report tool. Plugged in a CRV's VIN number and all of a sudden we're seeing some good news. We're seeing that this car has been on the lot for quite some time. It's a 2020 model and we have a pretty high negotiability score according to Ray. And we're seeing a bunch of other identical vehicles with pretty much identical time on the lot spent. Now what we're seeing right now is a, an abundance of 2020 inventory and an abundance of time being spent on the lot. These are two key indicators that the dealership really wants to get rid of this car. Now, granted, on the flip side of things on the RAV4, we did see a decent amount of inventory on the RAV4. They were fresh on the lot. They weren't cars that had been sitting for quite some time. And while the demand is a lot higher on the RAV4s right now, the likelihood of getting a really, really good deal on the CRV was a lot higher because the, the demand was clearly a lot less. Because the car spent a lot more time on the lot, we were talking about a lower demand on the CRV plus the fact that they were 2020 model years. This is not something, I'm not 100% sure if this also is incorporated in Ray and Zach's algorithm, but it is incorporated in my mental algorithm as to whether or not this car is going to give me the better deal or that car is going to give me the better deal. However, it was a key indicator for their algorithm for the amount of time spent on the lot. Now, plugging in both VIN numbers, I did see a much higher negotiability score on the CRV because of a lot longer time spent on the lot on the CRV and actually a lot higher and actually a little bit higher amount of inventory, albeit 2020s on the CRV. Now what Ray and Zach do is they give you the recommendations on these cars and I love it. I love the fact that they give you recommendations saying, listen, you're probably not going to get a great deal. You'll probably get a really, really good deal. Go at it. And what this does is it sets you up for, okay, which dealership or dealerships should I be targeting? Because they also list off similar vehicles and the similar vehicles that have also have similar time spent on lot. What I do is, is that I take, I take the recommendations that are, you can tell I'm 
kind of excited, right? I take the recommendations that Ray and Zach are making, and what I do is I typically use either my template or even Ray and Zach's template that they have in this video, buy a car online with these free email templates. I'll put the link in the description below. What I do is, is I start reaching out to all these dealerships. I, I do it either by clicking in my recommended link in the description below, have them reach out to you, and then reply back with a template email. What I like to say is, is hey guys, you guys got this car on the lot. It's been sitting there for quite some time. Are you open to XYZ offer? Now, what Ray and Zach do in their market price report is that they give you a recommended price. I want you to use that recommended price as a minimum. I understand the pain, Ray and Zach, that giving a recommended price is not going to work in every single region. If Ray gives a price estimate or a price recommendation in one place that's a lot more aggressive, say he gives that recommendation in like Boston, for example, that probably won't hold true out in say Minnesota. Nothing against Minnesota, lovely place. However, he has to be a little bit conservative. What you should be doing is being a little bit absurd and stupid, go crazy, offer them like 15% off of the MSRP or use that 1% of MSRP as the lease payment, 5% of MSRP do it start that I like to estimate. Just shell out insane offers. Do it for every single dealership that's showing a similar vehicle on Ray and Zach's list and start playing that ping pong match with all these dealerships utilizing one price quote, shopping it against another, yada, 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 and bam, you got yourself a fantastic deal. Wonderful work by Ray and Zach over at Your Auto Advocate. Again, let me know in the description, in the comments rather, if you want us to do a video together. Links are in the description below. Check out Your Auto Advocate and also shop around the best possible deal using the links in the description below. Check out vehicle specific incentives and estimate lease and finance payments. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Not just to me, but to your auto advocate as well. Thank you so, so much for watching guys. We'll see you next time.